All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about Discord community server events. What are they? How do you create them and manage them? The simple answer is events are built into Discord where you can click on this button in the upper left-hand corner of your Discord screen, and it'll tell you all the upcoming events for this server. And then if you want to create them, you can either use this big blue button here, or you can go into your server name in the upper left hand corner and there's a button right here to create an event. And so there's a few different options here. The events can take place either in a text channel, in a stage channel, in a voice chat channel, or it can also take place literally anywhere else. All this is doing is providing you with a built in calendar system on your server so that you can coordinate events with all of your users and you can send them a specific invite link, kind of like a server invite, in order to collaborate on that. So I'm just gonna say voice chat channel, and I'll say this is gonna happen in uh, the game hangout channel. That sounds great to me. And then what is this event going to be? Well, this is my test event, but you can say like, we're gonna play the new game that just came out. Maybe you're playing that Vampire Rising game, whatever. And then you can say like, this is going to take place on the 31st at uh what time does everyone get off work six somewhere after there so let's just say like seven we're all gonna play that super cool new vampire game and you can even upload an image right here to represent this event if you have like cool branding or banner for like your organization or your game group you can put that there and then you can review this before it goes live and you can create that event. And then you can then share that with literally everybody by copying this. And if you send this to somebody, it'll then do like an invite link that tells them exactly what's going on. And then once it's created, you can find it here in events. And if you want to edit this, you just go to more and then you can cancel the event. You can edit the event. You can add it to your personal calendar using this little pullout screen. You can report this if you think this is an inappropriate event that shouldn't be on Discord and all of that good stuff, or you can start the event. So what this allows you to do is you can get ready to start the event. It happened, let's say this is happening today, and then you can be like, okay, it's gonna happen in this channel, and then you can click start the event. It'll send out a notification, and then you're good to go. But in this case, I'm gonna delete this because I don't need this anymore. So we're gonna cancel the event. And then it's gonna say there's no upcoming events. Now the last thing that I wanna go over is you actually have the ability inside of Discord to control who can create an event and who can't. So if I go into my server settings by going to the server name in the upper left-hand corner, going to server settings, and going down to roles, I can see the giant mess of roles that I have, but I can go to my administrative helper role. And then here under permissions, you'll have the ability to create and manage events somewhere down in this large rigmarole of all of the permissions that make up your server permissions. So let's have a look, see. So here it is, manage events. So if I give them the ability to manage events, it allows them to manage like creating the event, editing it, and canceling it, which can sometimes be handy if you want to create like an event manager role. And then if you don't want people to be able to mess with events, all you have to do is make sure that the events permission is toggled off. And then that's it. Now you know how to create events, how to send out invites for events, how to edit them, how to cancel them, and how to start them. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.